Hi there. Welcome to Postgres SQL for MySQL DBAs. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for Percona. And right now we're going to walk through some PSQL commands. The purpose of the series is to teach MySQL DBAs a little bit about Postgres so they can experiment and find out what's going on in the Postgres world. Now, PSQL is different than the MySQL command line, the MySQL shell, or anything else. It's also very powerful. Now, what we're going to do in this episode is look at some PSQL commands to kind of help you get started, warn you about some of those commands, and show off some more. Now, here's a quick summary of a lot of the commands you can get to. Uh, you'll notice a lot of them start with a backslash D, and um, we're going to walk you through some of these right now. Now, Slash G is much different than what you saw in MySQL. Well, how's that, day? Well, I used to backslash G, uh, terminating a, a line on a SQL statement in MySQL. But you can do that with, with Postgres. But if you do it just by itself or where people ask command, a very handy little shorthand. So in this example here, we're going to select star from the actor table, limit 5, and it runs that. Now, if we type backslash G by itself, it does the same command again. Kind of a handy shortcut. Also, you can use it as a command terminus, just like MySQL, select star from actor, limit three, backslash G, and see how that goes. Now, to switch between databases, rather than type U, you do slash C. So, in this example, we're going to create a database called test, and then we're going to slash C to connect to test. And if we don't want to switch to another one, we just give that database name. Now, if you want to see the contents of what's in a database, and it's a lot more than you're used to seeing in the MySQL world directly, uh, you can type backslash D, and you're going to see tables, you're going to see sequences, you're going to see views, you're going to see functions, and a little bit more. Now, to narrow that down, just to see the tables, use slash DT. Now, slash DB will show you the views. Slash DS will show you sequences. You're not used to sequences in MySQL. They are in MariaDB and they are kind of handy. And you're used to using auto increment. This is another way to do that sort of thing. Now, if you want to see the functions, it's slash DF. And if you just want to see the contents of a table, you type in backslash D and the name of the table. In this case, you see we have the columns, the types, uh, any collation notes, if they're nullables, and some default values for those. You also see the indexes. In this case, we have two indexes. We have a foreign key constraint. And there's some triggers out there. Now, if you want to see the, who the users are, you type in slash du. So if we come along and create a user called Percona with super user encrypted password, and the password is Percona, it comes back so it's created a role for us. So we type in du, we can see that user is out there. Now, slash A is kind of interesting, is it toggles between aligned and unaligned. So if your format is aligned and you type in a backslash A, it goes from this pretty printed version to this collapsed version. Now, if you do a backslash capital H, you can toggle into HTML mode. Now, I'm going to run a quick little video to show you how to do all that. So, let me get back to the... So if we type in select star from actor, limit five, we get the results. If I type in backslash G, you see that it repeats that for us. And if I want to change that query a little bit, limit three, backslash G, you see that I still use it as a line terminator. Now we switch between databases uh, using backslash C. Let's create database test slash c test or I can go back to the DVD rental very simply now as I mentioned before slash d gives you a lot of information on stuff that you're probably not used to seeing but if you just want to see the tables backslash dt dv will give you the the views, slash ds will show you sequences, slash df will show you functions, and there could be a whole bunch of those out there. Now, if you want to see the contents of a table, 
you type in slash D space in the name of the table. And in this case, you'll see here's our actor table with the columns, the types, and the collation and other information. Now, if you want to see users, real simple, slash backslash DU. And you see I have several users out there. Now, another thing that's interesting is you're used to seeing um, the output format. I'm going to do select star from actor limit five. Now, if I type in backslash A, the output is now unaligned. And if I go back up, you see that's all collapsed. But if I want the same information back again, I just type backslash A, outputs aligned. Back there. Now, if I need it in HTML, HTML format, I do a backslash capital H. And there's our data in HTML mode. Now back into the backslash H and we are back to being aligned. So thank you for watching this presentation on using PSQL. Next time we'll work more with the DVD rental database. Thank you.